Yo, people. <laughs> okay, so I've got another one. Uh, I've known about this one for a while, but I sort of was looking for some good evidence because I was confident, but I had to find the evidence, and I feel now that I've got uh, enough evidence to uh, do the video. So let's get on with it. So I believe that Maradona also played French rugby star Christophe Dominici. Now, I'm not into rugby. Um, I didn't know who this guy was, never heard of him. But just look at the poses. I'm just hitting you with the big images that sold it to me uh, straight away. Um, I mean, just look at the pose. That's a famous Maradona pose, uh, that, that picture. And he's just doing, Christoph is doing exactly the same pose. But also look at the hands. They're doing Masonic hand symbolism. The hands are the same. The right and left hand, hand symbolism, Masonic hand symbolism, blatant as you like. Now, I was sold on these pictures, which I saw on a Facebook page uh, by a person called Nicole Moat. I think that's her name. Uh, that's where I saw this uh, originally. So obviously Maradona, one of the greatest footballers that ever lived, highly skillful, but famously known for the hand of God against England 1986, which us English will probably never ever forgive him for, um, <laughs> because he ruined our World Cup. <laughs> and me personally, purely for this, um, I'll... I, I, was, I was never a fan. I never liked him. I never was a fan of Diego Maradona. But obviously, I can see someone who's highly skillful, and he was highly skillful, but I just didn't like him. I didn't like his way. I didn't like his whole drug thing. I didn't like his arrogance. But of course, now, looking at it from this perspective, you can just see that these this is all acting. This is all part of the show. They actors. They play a role. Now, this is uh, him from the 94 World Cup, his last uh, World Cup. Uh, famously, uh, well, after he scored a goal, he came up to the camera and did this, and everyone said he was basically high on coke. <laughs> so, uh, this is when it gets interesting, starts to solidify the argument. Christophe Dominici, French rugby legend, dies age 48. Look at the date, 24th of November, 2020. Now, Maradona, Argentina legend, dies age 60, 25th of November, 2020. So the day after Christophe Dominici supposedly dies. So I knew something was suspicious at the time because he'd uh, died on the anniversary of George Best's uh, death. Knew that he was a fan of George Best. Uh, and if you look here, Maradona hails inspirational best. He basically compared himself to him, uh, as you can see here. But since his death, there's been controversy over the medical staff. But this is what his doctor said. I did my best. So I heard that on the day and I remember thinking this is blatantly a fake death placing his death on the anniversary of his idol George Best's death and then his doctor says he did his best. So yeah, blatant theatre and just to uh, clarify the theatre, Maradona, Fiorito's son, died in a Shakespearean tragedy. So, uh, you know, they're telling us there, this is so blatant, I couldn't believe it when I saw this. Uh, Fiorito's, by the way, is where he's from in Argentina. But have a look at this nice little uh, link. Maradona's life seemed woven by Shakespeare, and he played the role as the best of the actors. <laughs> Hilarious. So this is Maradona's ex-wife, or his mainstay partner, but I suggest that it's the same partner as Christos Dominici, take a look at them. She's just got blonde hair, she's got brown hair. Same face, same height references to each other. Look at the same face. Just imagine her with blonde hair. 
Um, obviously, Christoph's had uh, work done to make him look slightly different. This is what they do. So this is a picture of Maradona with his ex-wife and his two daughters. And this is a picture of Domin Christoph Dominici and his wife and his two daughters. <laughs> Playing. So the heights according to um, Wikipedia, obviously we only take that to a certain amount of truth. There's a two inch difference. Maradona's five foot five. Uh, Christoph Dominici is five foot seven and a half according to this. But we know they're both uh, small in stature. And look at this. It says on Christos Dominici, small in stature, but a titan on the field. So we know he was a small guy. Obviously, the ages are different. But look at this. Uh, when he was young, he was outstanding at football. Really? <laughs> Hilarious. But check this out, right? So look at Maradona's career. His playing career ended in 94. This was basically around the 94 World Cup. Um, then he went on to manage. He went on to manage um, two teams, Deportivo and Racing Club, 94 to 95. And then he started managing Argentina in 2008. So there's basically a gap between 95, 96 to 2008. But check this out. Look at Christoph Dominici's playing career. 91 to 93, appearances and points, question mark. 93 to 97, appearances and points, question mark. So then it shows his actual figures of appearances and points, 97 to 2008. Fitting perfectly with Maradona stopping playing and managing. And there's a gap where he literally was playing rugby as Christoph Dominici. So yeah, I'm 100% on this one. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just blatant. Like when you start to look at it and see the links, like incredible how they do it. Because um, until, until you look at it, you would never believe it. But like just those images give it away. But with the playing... Uh, times linking the wife and daughters uh, linking um, the, the reference to Shakespeare, the reference to Best. I mean, even in, on this, I didn't mention earlier. He's wearing a purple ring. Purple being reference to royalty. So yeah, all the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely players. They have their exits and entrances, and one man in his time plays many parts. His acts being seven ages. They told us with Shakespeare. Hope you enjoyed this video. Peace!